guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys my recent like 10 to 15 minute makeup routine. We're not using any sponges. We're only using six brushes. And at that, if you're not extra, you don't need six brushes. You will only need, if you wanna stop where it's good, you only need about five brushes. But I forgot a brush, so you still need you know, you only need about five brushes max. I'll be using eight. That's all the brushes that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this, you guys. No matter how simple my makeup look is, I love to prime my skin. Not only is it going to help your skin look smoother and more hydrated, but it will also help everything adhere and last longer. I assume if you're a mom on the go, or like if you're somebody who has like a nine to five and you need your makeup to work last throughout your whole shift, like you don't wanna be checking it. So you guys, prime your face, prime it. Okay, now anyways, so for primers, I'm going to be using the Touch and Soul No, uh, no Pore Prime Essence and my Dr. Brand Illuminating Primer. So I always love, no matter what, I always love to use the essence first. And I have learned you don't need a lot of this because such little goes such a long way. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Dr. Brandt um, Pores No More Luminizer Primer. And then as always, going in with my Giovanni Calming Facial Prime and Setting Mist. Only use this for primer, I love it. Ooh, that was a lot okay guys so after that we are gonna go ahead and go in with the brows now today usually i would only use one but i'm really trying to do a softer brow so i'm going to use my la girl shady slim pencil for the front and then i'm going to be using my item beauty brow pencil for the rest of my brow Okay guys, so next, I used to not ever do this step, never really cared for it, but you see my friend Karina, every time I would do her makeup, or I've only done it twice, played with her makeup, <laughs> like she would always clean up her brows, and I'm like, you know what? But when she came to my house, she cleaned up her brows, and she used this brush right here, my Ala Mata Cosmetics brush. Now, I was like, okay, let me try it. The next day I tried it and I was like, dang. So I have started cleaning up my brows. And so I am gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline concealer in the shade 15. Just gonna take some on the back of my hand, dip my brush in there, and then start cleaning them up. You guys, that is literally such a small step that makes like the biggest difference in your brows. Like, especially if you got some little hairs that you need to pluck and you don't feel like plucking them, clean up your brows. Like just with some concealer, woom, woom, what? Anyways, okay guys, so now here comes the easy part. All I'm gonna do is spot conceal, but the thing is with this, found with this foundation, with this concealer, it goes a long way. Now for my under eye dark circles right here, I'm gonna take a little bit of the LA Girl um, 
Pro Conceal, and I'm taking it in the shade Light Ivory. The reason I'm taking this for my dark circles is because it has a little bit of a peachy undertone to it. So I take literally the littlest bit, and then we are going to spot conceal. So as you see, I have some hormonal breakouts. So I'm literally gonna take the tiniest dots because like I said, a little bit of this goes a long way. And I have a lot going on on my cheeks, you guys, and my forehead and redness on my nose. Now, after that, I'm gonna take my ABH 30 A30 brush and we're just gonna start, we're just gonna start tapping that out. And the reason I tap is to get the most coverage out of spot concealing and to not get any brush strokes. So, so now, going to blend out that concealer and keep it mostly focused right under there where I need the help with dark circles. Okay guys, so that is it. Now to go ahead and add in some lightness so I'm not all flat, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with this Maybelline concealer. Dot here, dot, dot here, dot here, dot here. And that's gonna help us not look like we ain't got no color to our skin. So again, tap to blend it out. With all of these concealers, you guys, you don't need much. And that's what makes it so fast. And because you understand that you don't need much, it doesn't take long to blend them out. Okay, so we are now done with the base other than set, actually, no, 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 no. So because everything's a cream, it's gonna go a lot faster. Now I don't like too much, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Yinsa bronzer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl the brush in here and just apply like the slightest bit of bronzer. And you guys, this will build up and give you that really good contour glow or for when you're in a hurry and you just need something, it blends out so easy. It's not too pigmented. It just depends on your speed of what you're trying to do. And that's what I love about this bronzer. Okay, so now I'm taking my e.l.f. cream or monochromatic multi-stick. It's basically just a stick blush. And I have mine in the shade Glowing Mango. So I'm just gonna take a few like this. Y'all remember when I thought that this wasn't gonna look good? Well, it looks beautiful. And my favorite brush to blend that out has been the Alamar Cosmetics Bronzer Brush. And I just tap like this and boom, boom. And that's it, you guys, like that's it. And so then now I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl clean fresh powder and I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna go under the eyes first to get the lightest part right there and drag the excess around the rest of my face even on my eyelids and I'm not swiping because I don't want to move anything that I have underneath and I understand that this makes me look a little bit gray you guys because it is a little bit too light but we're going to fix that. Do not be afraid, we will fix that. But this powder is just so good, like I really need to get it <laughs> in my shade because it's so good. It's perfect for under my eyes, but... So now we're gonna go in with bronzer. So I love something like this for on the go, a, bra a palette. I, I wish I had like a bronzer blush highlighter palette, but I don't. But something that has your bronzer and your highlights in it is super great for on the go. So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna mix these two shades right here. And then again, just lightly tap. You don't need to go heavy on it because we have that little bit underneath. This is just so that way the color lasts longer. Like I said, great for people who are on the go and need their makeup to last so flipping long. And we're gonna take this same palette, go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And this is what we're going to take in our crease just to add a little something, something. Boom, done. But for, for kicks and giggles, we're gonna go ahead and take this one and add just a little bit to the lid. That's a highlighter, by the way, all I said was this one. Just a little bit to the lid and mostly on the inner corner. And again, just so everything still looks cohesive and blended. Boom, done with the eyes. Well mostly so now after that you guys and you guys are going to be shocked but this is a no lashes everyday makeup look and yeah so we're just going to curl the lashes 
But when we do no lashes, guess what? That means that we pile on the mascara. I love these kind of makeup looks because like you could do two for one. So in, for instance, I bronzed and I was able to do my eyeshadow at the same time. You could even do that with your blush. You could take your blush into the crease instead of your bronzer. If you want something like peachy or mauve but if you're simple like me and you just want something neutral and fast just take your bronzer and throw it in your crease and then it doesn't look as bare so now for mascara sorry you guys we're taking the essence volume stylist 18 hour lash extension mascara with lengthening fibers love this mascara super great for you to not have to spend out like minutes and minutes and minutes piling it on because literally like two coats does the trick so And now, since we're not applying lashes or anything like that, we're gonna go ahead and go straight in on our bottom lashes. So now for actual blush, you guys. Um, for actual blush, we're gonna take the Essence, the blush in Be Fitting. I love this blush, you guys. Now, I know it's completely different from the um mango-y color that we put on but they go so good together and since we do have that blush underneath we don't have to spend forever piling it on so boom we're done so now for highlight what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the same shade that we put on our eyelid and apply that to the tops of our cheekbones take this highlighting brush Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and set our brows. Okay guys, now for lips, I'm just gonna take a lip liner and a gloss. And it's not even like bold, like this is literally for every day to where if it wears off, you're not gonna be able to tell or anything like that. So I'm taking my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Bear. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Lip Lacquer Lip Gloss. I like this gloss because it's not like super glossy. And so if you're on the go and you don't want to worry about like having to blend it out too much or just worry about it, your lips aren't going to be sticking together or anything like that, like that is it. So we're going to curl our lashes one more time. I need to clean. I'm going to push up just because my lashes, for whatever reason, have started growing in straight. I used to have lashes like my boys where they were just long and used to curl by themselves. Not anymore. And now we're going to go ahead and set. All right, you guys. And that is it for today's makeup look. I hope that you like it. Like, I did this makeup look on Sunday. And we were I was out the door in like 10 minutes. So even though it seems like a lot of products and a lot of steps, because you're not having to constantly blend or, like, you don't have to go through so many different palettes. Like, all you need is, like, a good concealer or two or three like me <laughs> and um, a face powder to set everything down. And if you have oily skin, like, you can skip the cream bronzer and the cream blush all together and just go straight in with the powders. Now, for me personally, you could even stop at only cream products. I crease a lot. I don't like to crease. So, I got to go in with a powder. Now... You could skip the cream products and just go straight in with the powders, like I said. Or you could just skip the cream products and just, I mean, skip the powder products and only set if you crease. I'm a little bit extra, so I gotta do a little bit of extra steps. But other than that, you guys, like this is so easy, so fast. And I really do recommend this lip gloss right here if you're somebody who doesn't like like super, super shiny and you also don't like gloppy because I'll, I'll be the first to admit, even though the Essence Shine 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 Gloss is like my favorite gloss, you do have to be careful with that. Like you have, you have to be careful with how much you apply or it can get pretty like 
not not even like sticky but it can feel gloppy on your lips so this one is a good one so with all of that being said you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.